Hi, this slide kicks off a whole uh, chunk of uh, modules about the whole concept of mastery or learning how to learn, uh, continuous improvement in a, in a, in a professional uh, vector dimension. Uh, and to a certain degree, it might be one of the most uh, vexing or difficult uh, elements of the, the six boundary system. And uh, that's why I've got a lot of slides dedicated to it. Um, we know that if we look at ranking reports, for example, uh, you know, your kid, you know, is in college or whatever, and they say, well, here's my grade point average, and what do I have to do to be in the top 10% and be Phi Beta Kappa? You can go out and play golf at your local country club, and you can sort of very pr quickly start to get a handicap system. If you play tennis or I play squash also competitively, there's a... You know, computers that give you some sort of overall ranking, you know, based on points. And, you know, you can quibble about I ought to be two, three tenths of a point higher. But the truth of the matter is, if you're a 4 0 in tennis, you know, you're not, you're not on the professional circuit. So there's room for improvement. Uh, same with your bowling average or, you know, any kind of, you know, measurable game that you can play. And these provide uh, measurable reality checks. You know, we all think we're a lot better than we are, but actually, you know, we just need to, you know, need to realize we're not, and that's okay. Uh, because what we do is realize, well, the great thing is look at all the upside. My goodness, I, you know, reframe it as an opportunity to continue to learn how to learn and get better at something and knowing, having faith that the better we get at something, the more we enjoy it and, you know, so forth. So, uh, and then we can identify people who really are role models and we can go watch their strokes and their golf swing on YouTube if you want. Um, and a lot of times we can have access to local best guys at our club and, and say, hey, look at me and you know, what do you think? And you got any ideas and so forth. So we can do cooperative kinds of things within our team to help everybody move along the path. Um, so the idea is on the team, it isn't competition, but rather it's cooperation. Sure, everybody wants to be the best and get, you know, some notoriety or acclaim for being great. Uh, uh, certainly, people might be competing for the next promotion if it's a company that is growing and making money that can finance the growth. Uh, but, you know, if we all work really well, there'll be lots of promotion opportunities. And that's the key is to expand the pie for everybody and everybody's going to do better one way or another. Uh, and, of course, just the whole idea of how do you define or redefine what a 10 is for what I'm doing on a scale from one to 10, where am I right now and what is a 10? Uh, and we can even do an experiment where we'd say, all right, uh, what is a 10 for an outside salesperson? We go ask five big customers to give us the best attributes of the best sales reps they've ever seen and come up with a laundry list of here are all the attributes. And of course the opposite would not be 10. And so that starts to give us a composite of skills and attributes we need to improve to be better in the customer's eyes for whatever we think we're doing. Um, and, uh, but the idea that we're going to come up against is, wait a minute, you know, I'm, I'm not buying into this. I just kind of want to be a habitual creature. I just want to do what I do. And uh, if that, in a sense, holds back the rest of the stakeholders, certainly the employees and the margin dollar per warm body on the payroll. If it, if it underserves the customer a little bit when they have to do business with me, then that's too bad. That's their problem, not mine. Nope, we're going to turn that around. We're going to say, you know what, going forward, it's everybody's responsibility to themselves and to the rest of the stakeholders to be on a path of mastery and be continuously improving and moving forward and moving higher and not just in a professional sense. But once we learn how to learn, why can't we be a black belt first, second degree um, parent or spouse uh, or, you know, another path you may have outside the business or the profession? Uh, so that's kind of what this section is all about. So let's get on with it. Thank you.